Good morning children. Now let's continue with the part 2 of this lesson multiplication. Hope children you are all learning the multiplication tables very well as it is very important for this lesson. Now let us learn the shortcut method of multiplying by 10. Students do you know the 10 times table? Yes. 10 ones are 10, 10 twos are 20, 10 threes are 30, 10 fours are 40 and so on. We notice that each product in 10 times table is the same number that is 10 multiplied with. Only with 0 added to it. So the rule says when multiplying by 10, write 0 in the 1's place and then multiply the number by 1. For example, 4 times 10. First multiply 4 with 1 equals 4 and put a 0 at the end so the answer equals 40. In the same way, 23 times 10 equals 230. 150 times 10 equals 1500. Next multiplying by tens that is multiplying by its multiples like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. To multiply a number by tens write one zero at the end and then multiply the remaining numbers. Example 9 times 70. First multiply 9 into 7 equals 63 and put a 0 at the end. So the answer is 630. In the same way 24 times 60. First multiply 24 times 6. You can use working column to multiply. 24 times 6 equals 144. Put a 0 at the end. So the answer is 1440. 15 times 40. First multiply 15 times 4 equals 60. Put a 0 at the end. So the answer equals 600. Multiplying by hundreds. To multiply a number by hundreds, write two zeros at the end and then multiply the remaining numbers. For example, 4 times 700. First multiply 4 times 7 equals 28. Put two zeros at the end. So the answer is 2800. 6 times 900. First multiply 6 times 9 equals 54. Put two zeros at the end. So the answer is 5400. In the same way, 517 times 600 equals 310,200. You can use working column to multiply the bigger numbers. 252 times 800 equals 201,600. Students, you can solve these sums using the rules that you have just learnt. Multiplying by a two digit number. Let's multiply 12 times 25. As you know, we have to start with the ones place. Step 1. Multiply by ones. First multiply 5 by 2. We get 10. Put down 0. Carry the 1 to the next column. Now multiply 5 times 1 equals 5. Add 1 to 5. We get 6. We have finished multiplying the top number with the ones of the bottom number. The product of multiplying the first digit was placed on the first line. Now the product of multiplying the second digit will go on in the second line. Step 2. Multiply by tens. Here 2 is in the tens place. So we have to multiply by 20. 
first put 0 below the 1's place. Now multiply 2 times 2 equals 4. Write 4 down. Then multiply 2 times 1 equals 2. Write 2 down. It's very important to keep the numbers in the straight line. Step 3. Add the two numbers. That is 60 plus 240. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 6 plus 4 equals 10. Write 0 down. Carry over 1. 1 plus 2 equals 3. So, 12 multiplied by 25 equals 300. Turtle head multiplication is a simple fun way to multiply by a two digit number. This method makes multiplying larger number simple. Let's multiply 27 times 65. First draw the turtle's head. Multiply by the number in its neck 5. 5 times 7 equals 35. So we write 5 down and carry the 3 to the next column. 5 times 2 equals 10 and 10 plus 3 equals 13. Now there are 3 important steps before we move on. Check off carried numbers, draw a collar and lay a turtle egg 0. Now we can multiply by the other number 6. 6 times 7 equals 42. So we write 2 down and carry the 4 to the next column. 6 times 2 equals 12. 12 plus 4 equals 16. The last step is to add the two numbers. 5 plus 0 equals 5. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 1 plus 6 equals 7 and 1. So, 27 multiplied by 65 is 1755. Example 2. Let's multiply 804 times 39. First, draw the turtle's head. Multiply by the number in its neck, 9. 9 times 4 equals 36. Write 6 down. Carry 3 to the next column. Then 9 times 0 equals 0. 0 plus 3 equals 3. Write 3 down. And 9 times 8 equals 72. Now there are 3 important steps before we move on. Check off carried number. Draw collar. Lay a turtle egg 0. Now multiply by the other number 3. 3 times 4 equals 12. Write 2 down. Carry 1 to the next column. Then 3 times 0 equals 0. Plus 1 equals 1. Write 1 down. And 3 times 8 equals 24. The last step is to add the two numbers. So... 804 multiplied by 39 is 31,356. Now multiplying a 3 digit number by a 3 digit number. While multiplying a number with a 3 digit number, split the multiplier into its ones tens and hundreds place and multiply with it. Ok, let's multiply 364 with 123. Remember, we start with the ones place. Step 1. Multiply by ones. 364 multiplied with 3 gives 1092. Step 2. Multiply by tens. 
364 multiplied with 20 gives 7280. Step 3. Multiply by hundreds. 364 multiplied by 100 gives 36400. Now add all the three numbers together. That is 1092 plus 7280 plus 36400 so the answer is 44772 so 364 multiplied with 123 gives 44772 application in real life word problems now we will be learning how we can use multiplication in word problems. So let's start. Example, there are four boxes. In each box, five pencils are there. How many pencils are there in all? Here you can see in the picture, four boxes are there. And in each box, five pencils are there. We have to find out how many pencils are there in all. So here we need to add 5 4 times. Remember we use multiplication for repeated addition problems. So instead of adding 5 4 times we can multiply 5 times 4. Hence 5 times 4 equals 20. There are 20 pencils in all. Let's take another example. There are 6 apples in one basket. Then 3 baskets will have how many apples? Number of baskets? 3. Number of apples in each basket? 6. We have to find how many apples are there in all. So, here... You need to add 6 3 times and you know that you can write repeated addition in the form of multiplication sentence. So 6 plus 6 plus 6 can be written as 6 times 3 and we can easily solve them as 6 times 3 equals 18. So 18 apples are there in 3 baskets. So what we have learned from the above two examples, whenever there is a repeated addition problem, we can solve it using multiplication. Now you can solve repeated addition word problems with larger numbers easily using multiplication. Let's take one more example. There are 496 groundnuts in one sack. How many groundnuts will 13 such sacks contain? Here in this question, number of groundnuts in one sack is 496. Number of sacks are 13. To know how many groundnuts are there in all, we have to add 496 13 times. So it is a repeated addition problem. So we can solve this using multiplication. So 496 times 13 equals 6448. So there are 6448 groundnuts in 13 such sacks. Example 2. Each bag contains 119 marbles. There are 39 such bags. How many marbles are there in all? I hope you have understood this question. Number of marbles in a bag is 119. Number of bags are 39. So what we have to do? You know it is a repeated addition sum. So we have to multiply. 
children, you can multiply this view by yourself and write the answer. I hope children you have understood the, the multiplication problems. Now you can solve this question by yourself and do it in your notebook. Also children do the assignments exercise 3D page number 52 and exercise 3E page number 54 and 55 in your notebook. Thank you children.